What the heck is Illuminati cloning and why do we care? Conspiracy theorists say that human cloning began after World War II and allows scientists to transfer the mind into a new body. There are claims that a secret group of wealthy elite, the Illuminati, clone people all the time in order to control and even torture them. Seems far-fetched, so why are we so concerned? Well, apparently they are cloning some of our favorite, and not so favorite, celebs. This explains all those times when you thought your favorite hobby seemed a little wonky, or they just went plain crazy like Britney Spears. The cloning technology isn't perfect and goes on the fritz from time to time. Occasionally one of their own decides to speak up and needs to be shut off. Hmm dot dot that's a lot of food for thought but here are some more baffling ideas that appear to support the theory. 15. Amina may not be the real Slim Shady. Supposedly Marshall Mathers checked himself into rehab in 2005 after nearly dying. He went away for a while and then reappeared even bigger than before. The Illuminati experts state that typically the elite approach a celebrity when they reach peak fame. If you are foolish enough to decline their advances, yet know of their existence, you must be dealt with. They dispose of the celeb somehow and make it appear natural or the celeb re-emerges a new improved version of themselves. The clones aren't perfect so you may note some differences in the 8 mile star. Small details change like the hairline, vocal ability, and other small details like hair, shape. Check out YouTube for some hilarious videos of Eminem glitching. Clones tend to freeze up and sometimes it happens on live TV. 14. You notice the VMAs have become a little strange? The existence of the Illuminati is not really arguable. They began in 1776 to stop the influence of the Catholic Church over science and philosophy. The question is, are they really influencing our media and controlling our beloved celebrities? The VMAs are one example where the evidence seems hard to ignore. The most awarded video of all time was Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer. Nobody even likes that song, but it is all about mind control. You can bet the Illuminati buddies were high-fiving backstage. Everyone loved Lady Gaga's performance in 2009. It included a reenactment of Blood Sacrifice, a favorite pastime of the Illuminati elite. In 2012 Rihanna performed her song, Cockiness, surrounded by Illuminati imagery. Then there are the devil horn hand signals, an Illuminati faith that celebs seem to throw around all over the event. Very suspicious. 13. What happened to Miley? One of the most widely known symbols of the Illuminati is the Eye of Providence or All-Seeing Eye. You can spot celebrities sporting this symbol all over the place. Miley is probably the worst offender of all. She has the eye tattooed on her finger and constantly includes it in her costuming and stage sets. Miley is a victim of their cloning for sure. Back in 2010, we had an innocent tween country singer. Now it's difficult to recognize the person she has become, both in looks and behavior. Some theorists speculate that she was cloned long ago while working for Disney. She leaked nude photos and was experimenting with drugs so the real Molly was dumped in the California desert and replaced by a more docile clone. Other sources suggest that upon adulthood she refused to join the likes of the Illuminati, not wishing to take part in their blood sacrifices. Either way, there was a drastic change in Miley at some point that has everyone baffled. 12. Britney has us fooled too. Many fans have assumed Britney is dead for a long, long time. There is a theory that she and Justin Timberlake were killed in a car crash shortly after her hit, Baby One More Time. This leaves the uber-wealthy label owners in a predicament. They stand to make millions watching this pop princess rise to fame. Sounds like it's time to use her Illuminati connections and clone her up. You can check any photo pre-98 and see remarkable differences in chin, eye shape, and nose form. Britney doesn't appear to have had a lot of plastic surgery so it makes sense that something more is going on. Clones tend to have breakdowns either because they are a bit genetically off or maybe they discover they are cloned. I wouldn't be too thrilled either. This explains the bizarre behavior we saw from Britney followed by an abrupt disappearance with the reemergence later. Her voice always seems mechanically enhanced too. 11. 
you are probably sporting the symbols. From popular clothing to hand gestures, Illuminati symbolism is everywhere and you probably have some in your closet. The eye is the most notable, but a pyramid and devil horns are also common Illuminati imagery. Not only do you see kids flashing the signs, you see them depicted on everything from backpacks to infant t-shirts. Sometimes celebs display the symbols because they want to be invited into the super secret club, some are already in and just plan to show allegiance. Why are kids at the bus stop doing it? Plenty of graphic artists have simply noticed the trend and are capitalizing on the fact that these items sell. Other times there is a little more to it. These symbols appear intentionally in kids' shows and on movies to desensitize people to them. The group members can use these shows to send coded messages about upcoming plans. The kids' TV show Gravity Falls is a great example. The main character is a pyramid with an all-seeing eye called Bill. 10. Taylor is one too. For years people have speculated that something was up with the uncanny resemblance between Taylor Swift and the princess of Satanism, Xena Levy. Many believe Taylor was actually cloned from the DNA of Xena. Who knows the goal of this but they look loads alike for sure. Both sport curly blonde locks and gravitate toward red lipstick. Taylor has recently begun to behave strangely. Perhaps she is suffering a glitch too. Her video for Bad Blood features numerous Illuminati symbols and depicts her being remade in a superhuman style. Quite telling don't you think? Science still claims cloning is impossible and we haven't had success since Dolly the Sheep. That was back in the 90s. Seems like a long time to make no advancement. 9. Mind control is real. MK Ultra is a CIA mind control program. It began in the 1950s and supposedly shut down sometime in the 70s, however, many opponents of the Illuminati and their cloning program believe the technology is still in use today. This program was huge, including over 80 facilities and 40 universities. Much of the work was contracted out to research facilities and institutions. Who knows what hands the data is in now? An investigation was ordered but the CIA director destroyed most of the documents relating to the program. What did he not want us to see? The Rockefeller Foundations was heavily involved in the investigation, but this mega-rick family is known to be Illuminati. A few documents that survived were declassified in 2001. The question is if mind control existed then, does it exist now? And could it be used to control these victims of cloning? Eight. Jay-Z might be one of them. There are a few red flags when it comes to the leader of Rock Nation. The first is the existence of an uncanny doppelganger from 1939. Another would be the visual changes in his face, which don't actually seem so convincing. Jay also likes to leave us with cryptic sung lyrics. Check out his song, Already Home. In it, he compares himself to many people who have passed away, Andy Warhol. Biggie, Tupac, but he also refers to himself as having been gone for a long time. One more thing about Jay's that leaves Illuminati experts questioning is the fact that he never seems to age. Odd for sure. If all that wasn't enough, he made the triangle, a prominent Illuminati hand sign, the trademark of his biz. He flashes this whenever and wherever he can to show his support to those who made him, 7. Even Beyonce. Of course, there are going to be a lot of crazy rumors circulating about someone as super famous as Beyonce, but the Queen herself never does much to stop them. In fact, she does a bit of the opposite. Always flashing that triangle symbol, Beyonce claims it is simply a sign for Jay's record co. Seeing that it is the most widely known Illuminati symbol, it seems an odd choice. In addition to the show of support to her Illuminati brothers, Beyoncé is widely quoted while speaking of her alter ego, Sasha Fierce. This is just beyond strange? Unless you're a clone with a bit of a split in personalities. Looking through pics it's easy to see the change in Beyoncé's skin tone and facial features. Could she be a different woman than the one we first loved in Destiny's Child? Some say her pregnancy was proof that she is the real deal, except that it was shrouded in secrecy. She barely shared pics or went in public, she gave birth alone on an entire floor with a staff sworn to secrecy.
and then there are the pretty epic videos of her bump caving in. Add to all of that the fact that there are two reported ages for Beyonce. She claims to be in her 30s but associates like Gabrielle Union, who was born in 72, state that they have been friends since they were teens. There is definitely enough shade surrounding Beyonce to make us suspicious. 6. Illuminati have infiltrated everything. It's not all about Hollywood and cloning our precious celebrities. They have infiltrated much more than our TV and movie industry. Experts say that the Illuminati have multiple representatives in the U.S. government, thus controlling our elections. It's also said that they control Vatican City and the U.N. The repercussions of one group controlling so many important things around the world are huge. Many even suspect that the Illuminati are controlling our media. Thus our news is false news and we only know what they want us to. Feels a bit Matrix-ish right? Controlling so much of our world really makes sense though. How else could they keep all these secrets under wraps? Essentially, the Illuminati rule the world. 5. Could our presidents be a part of it? There is some speculation that many US presidents are involved in Illuminati cloning. They may be contributing or simply be victims themselves. There are a few signs that cloning experts look for. The first is a slight change in appearance, followed by rapid aging. For some reason, clones are said to age faster than regular people. We see a great example of this in George W. Bush as well as Jimmy Carter. Even President Obama seems to have aged quite quickly over the eight years in office. In addition to the rapid aging, clones have minor differences in their facial features. President Carter's eyes have changed drastically and so has President G.W. Bush's nose. Another sign that someone may be a clone is erratic behavior. We witnessed this when President Carter proclaimed his family was attacked by a killer bunny. It may be a bit difficult to note in President Trump so keep your eyes peeled. 4. Paul McCartney is one too. Tons of Illuminati symbolism can be seen throughout Paul's career with the Beatles. Hand gestures, strange photos, even lyrics within some of their songs. The Beatles themselves were a bit anti-establishment. With such a following, the Illuminati no doubt thought that this group would be a great way to further their agenda. Unfortunately, those personalities who tend to be anti-establishment may not be so easy to control. This is why a clone is necessary. Looking through photos, it is very clear that Paul underwent drastic changes. His nose completely changes shape and he becomes taller as he gets older. His face and jawline narrow as well. Many believe that Paul died in a car crash in 1966 and was either cloned or replaced with a look-alike. Who really knows, but one thing is sure. Dot, dot, those are definitely different lobes. 3. Mariah Carey Anytime you see a list of celebs who could be clones or replacements, Mariah's name is always mentioned. She has often appeared to have a few screws loose, but nothing could have looked more like a glitched out clone than her New Year's performance 2017. Were the clone handlers the ones who really dropped the ball in Times Square? Mariah appeared confused and repeated the same phrases multiple times. She didn't know the words to songs that even an on fan could sing in their sleep. Sure, we could attribute it all to drugs, alcohol, stress but maybe something more was going on. Clones tend to malfunction and have mental breakdowns once they begin to sense that they aren't really themselves. While we await to find out what really went wrong with Mariah that night, we have to give credit where it's due. She looked better than ever, too. The Kardashians The Kardashians are frequently in the forefront of Illuminati speculation. Nothing could give conspiracy theorists more ammo than their 2013 Christmas card. This holiday greeting, by photographer David LaChapelle, featured so much Illuminati symbolism it's hard to list it all. The all-seeing eye and pyramid structures featured our favorites of the Illuminati. A strange choice for a family Christmas card, even if you are the Kardashians. These famous sisters tend to display Illuminati gestures as often as possible. Kim was featured this year on the cover of Wonderland, covering one eye, a common Illuminati pose. Kendall even joined in on the fun, posting a pic of her new inner lip tattoo with the all-seeing eye in the background.
Are they all Illuminati or are they just toying with us? 1. What's up with Kanye? It's no secret that Kanye has been going through a tough time. Could he be a clone going through a glitch? Perhaps Kanye is just overwhelmed and struggling to deal with all the massive Illuminati drama shocking us all. He is right in the middle of it and that would push anyone over the edge. Recently Kanye has been having uncharacteristic ranting spells and even begged Jay-Z not to send killers after him. Why does Kanye feel so threatened? A source told People.com that Kanye feels he is under spiritual attack. Sometimes, darkness creeps in, and Kanye wrestles against it. He talks about that a lot. It's exhausting, and it takes everything he's got. He's just so tired now, he's very low energy and feels like there's a grieving in his spirit. It's very hard to explain, but something has happened recently, where he's not the ye that everyone knows.